So, so what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Abby. Okay. Hello. It is, let's see, it is half past midnight on Tuesday, November 15th. And I'm going to go over what last week was for NaNoWriMo for me. And don't pay attention to the dog head that is on my shoulder. As she, as she moves, she's like, fine. And there's a dead animal. But don't pay attention to these things, okay? It's not important. Um, last week, as I said, I ended on, I ended very well. I finished at the 10,000 mark, which I had caught up. I had a couple slow days and I caught up. And this week I did very well as I am so proud of myself. So Monday was the slow day, a very slow day for me. I really just, it, it, I just couldn't get my words together and I just wasn't feeling it. And I wrote about mm, 200 and something words because I had ended Sunday at 10, uh, 10,599. I ended Monday at 10,743. So I really wrote, wrote less than 200 words that day. The par for day seven, directly following the numbers, would have been 11,666, and I wrote 10,743. Now Tuesday, which was day eight, I picked up a little bit, but still behind though. Your target on day eight would be 13,333. I ended the day at 11,681, but still, I did pick up quite, I did pick up a bit. And then it just keep, it, I, I, it, I just kept creeping up. And then day nine was Wednesday. Wednesdays and Thursdays are the worst days because that's usually when I volunteer. And the, even though it's a short amount, amount of time that I'm volunteering, I'm usually, usually being around people is kind of draining and I'm usually tired and the insomnia doesn't help. So day nine is when you want to get around 15,000 and I hit 13,066. Uh, I did over a thousand birds that day, so that was okay. Day 10, I really started creeping behind. If you were following the actual numbers, day 10, you want to be at 16,666. I was at 13,333. So at this point, when I ended day 10, I was exactly two days behind. But I really, really was not stressing it because you write when you can write. So Friday was the day that I was like, I'm, I'm gonna catch up. I'm, I'm gonna catch up. And Friday was day 11, and I did catch up quite a bit. My word count was at 16,678, so I wrote over um, over 3,000 words that day. So I caught myself up, so by that point, I was less than a day behind. So I went from two days to one day. And day 12 would be your 20,000 day. I got up to... 18,782 so I wrote over 2,000 words so even though I was behind my average number that I was writing every day was still pretty strong day 13 on Sunday was the day that I really caught up if you're following the numbers day 13 would be your, your par would be 21,666 I went from 18,782 to 22,392. Not only did I write quite a bit, over once again, over 3,000 words, but I also completely caught up and was over the amount that you want to be. Yesterday, I didn't push myself too much because I was just happy that I was really going at a good pace. I ended Monday, day 14, at 23,609, passing the par of 23,333. So I am caught up. Of course, it is past midnight, so 
<laughs> I'm not on par anymore. So my goal for the 15th um, today would be 25,000 and that's a big number because that is your halfway mark, 25,000 words. So if I don't get it today, I'm not going to worry about it. I only need uh, 1,391 words to get to the halfway point and I'm, I've kind of slowed down because right now everything seems to be flowing, but right now I have everything in my head, but I'm not, it's not translating well. So that was one of the other reasons why I slowed down a little bit today, but I am really proud of myself. I saw that this past week as a pretty kick-ass week. I, I really, really did kick ass and had a really good average in words, as I said, earlier, I wasn't going to do NaNoWriMo because I kept thinking there's no way that I can do it with this depression. I am not in the mood for this. It's just going to be like last year with me being aggravated and stressed out and I'm actually having fun. I'm having a lot of fun watching the way less monotone YouTubers talk about NaNoWriMo and how excited they are and it's really inspiring. I didn't do any virtual write-ins the past week. I kind of felt that for this NaNoWriMo, it wasn't really working with me. I really can't do like that sprint and that writer's prompt. It does work for a lot of people and it did help last year, but it, I guess because I'm in a different mode and different zone than last year, it just doesn't work the same for me. Even though I have attended some of them, it just works better for me to write when I want to write. So also, I, I just, every time I try to sound excited, I get monotone and... <laughs> So I am sorry. I, I assure you that I am actually really like, excited about NaNoWriMo. It's... I f <laughs> that is it for my NaNoWriMo update. I know that for some people this isn't like, this is so boring. All I'm doing is reading off numbers. I don't know. I feel like somebody might be encouraged by hearing that I pushed myself and still managed to catch up by the end of the week again. So I'm really proud of myself and I'm confident that I'm going to hit the halfway mark. I just hope that I don't hit a wall by that point. That's my update for NaNoWriMo and I will be back in a couple days. Bye.